Hello, hi. It's Friday the 7th of February 2020. I am Thekla Petridou, a Cypriot psychologist and author, and this is our weekly video in English on my YouTube channel. For all of you that Greek is Greek to you. Today's subject is a little bit theoretical, but I think that it is essential to help us understand ourselves and why sometimes, even though we want to achieve some stuff, we are not able to. Today's subject is about motives. What are motives in psychology? When a psychologist, a psychologist as me uses the word motives, what's the meaning of it? Motive is the internal feeling which lies behind every thought, every decision, every action of ours. Because you can have the same action done by different people, but to be uh, originated from different motives. There are positive motives, there are uh, self-focused motives, there are destructive motives, there are subsidizing motives. And um, it is really essential for us to realize that it's not only um, important to do the right thing or to say the right thing, but it's also important to have positive motives behind our thoughts, actions, decisions. Let me say, give you an example of a positive motive. I say the truth and my motive might be a positive motive that I love the truth, I respect myself, I respect other people, I want to be truthful in life. I really truly believe that truth sets us free so I say the truth in order to be genuine. This is an example of a positive motive, a negative motive. I say the truth, not because I believe in truth, but because I want to hurt somebody. For example, um, being truthful uh, can be very hurtful when you go and tell somebody, oh, you look so tired and too many wrinkles have started accumulating <laughs> around your eyes and you look older than your age. This might be the truth, really. Our friend or our colleague or whoever is uh, in front of us truly might look, uh, look tired, wrinkled or older than her age or his age. Why do we have to say it? If you ask somebody, why did you say that? Why did you make that rude comment? He might say or she might say, I was being truthful. I'm an honest person. I believe in truth. Bullshit. BS. You are not truthful. You are not honest. You said that in order to hurt them. Your motivation was not what you claim to be. And this is a very, very raw example, a very, a very simple example. Because um, in order to understand the discrimination between positive motivation and negative motivation, positive motives and negative motives because usually us ourselves are not able to distinguish whether our motives are positive or negative. Let me give you another example which is more complex. In, on tomorrow's uh, um, in, in Greek vlog, <coughs> on tomorrow's uh, uh, night Greek vlog, because every day I upload a morning vlog in Greek on my channel and every uh, afternoon at 8 p.m. at night I upload uh, an, uh, a night vlog. On tomorrow's afternoon or night vlog you can see, you can uh, listen to the story of a lady who wanted very much to achieve to have a nice husband, a nice family and to be happy in order to take revenge from her mother that never supported her. This was her goal in life, to show her mother that she can be a good wife, a good mother, a successful woman. 
And at the end, she ended up being very unhappy in an unloving relationship and being married to somebody who was using her. She, reads, she writes this letter to me, which is a huge letter in Greek. Or, 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 uh, um, if some of our viewers understand Greek, they might want to watch the video tomorrow night. Uh, she tells all her story, that she started seeing her uh, husband, she, she went by the book, she dated him for four years, then they had two years being engaged, then they got married, and etc. etc. And at the end, she said, I feel that I didn't achieve my goal. And she writes in one point, in, in a small corner of her email, that even though my mother was very unloving, and on my life, I wanted to become a successful married woman in order to make to take my revenge from her. And that's the solution to the problem. Why did this woman fail in her marital life? And the and this also had a terrible impact of her on her deteriorating her, her health because her motive was negative. Her motive was revenge. Revenge is a negative motive. Anger is also another negative motive. When you do things in order to take revenge, or when you do stuff because you're angry, then this is not a clear motive and it can contribute to you failing. Failing your goals and not being able, not being able to, to succeed. For example, I'm really angry with my husband and because I'm angry with him, I go and do a deed which will affect not only him but me negatively. But I really do believe that I do this because I'm a righteous person. No. When anger is your motive, then you're not a righteous person. You have a subsidizing motive which harm you and your spouse and your environment. It's really difficult to explain this in English, which is not my primary language. And without any solid examples, I mean, I don't have a letter to read and explain the letters I do in Greek. But it's really essential to realize that we need to question ourselves in a, in a daily basis. What are my motives? I want to do this thing. Why do I want to do this thing? Do I have a genuine a positive motive? Am I doing this in order to make my life and other people's life better? Or am I acting from a situation, from a point of anger, revenge, or any negativity? It's really important for us if we want and we really do want, I mean, all, everybody wants to be successful and be happy. Everybody wishes to be in a good place. And a lot of people uh, get very frustrated when they are not able to achieve happiness or achieve success or achieve their goals because they say, why? I try so hard, I work so hard, and at the end nothing happens. Or the opposite happens from what I expect. The answer is, check your motives. Were are your motives genuine? Genuinely positive? Genuinely kind? Or were are your motives negative? There is this term, self-destructive behavior. It's a psychological term. And self-destructive behavior is used to describe somebody who all the time does stuff that make, the, make her or him unhappy or sad or they don't progress in life with the stuff they do. They say you have a self-destructive behavior. You do things that take you back. They don't take you forward. The reason, the main reason behind self-destructive behavior is negative motives. And when do we people have negative motives in our life? When? we carry around psychological burden, 
we carry around unresolved psychological drama, we carry around psychological trauma which we have not um, taken into therapy. Bad things happen to nice people all the time. Bad traumatic things happen to young children. Young children do not choose the family in which they are born and they can be traumatized in very negative family situations. These ch young children, when they grow up, they carry their trauma around. You cannot get rid of your trauma unless you do therapy, unless you go to psychotherapy, unless you join a psychotherapeutic group, unless you visit a psychologist or a psychiatrist, a special, a, a, somebody who, is speci who specializes on mental health. We need to assess, access and assess our psychological traumas and heal our psychological traumas so that we have a clear heart and clear motives. This is the essence of people not succeeding in their lives because they do not take care of the trauma they carry around from their childhood. I don't know if this um, video is uh, clear enough because I say again, English is not um, I speak English as a secondary language, so my English is not so good. I hope that I have been able to pass the message that we need to address our psychological problems, we need to address our psychological burden in order to be light, in order to be able to have positive motives and positive motives help us achieve our goals, succeed in life and feel happy and whole. Have a nice weekend everybody. See you next Friday at the same time. Bye!